Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel and my art studio. I am Mrs B, your Catholic art teacher. Boys and girls, as we uh, look forward to the day of Pentecost, uh, let us um, prepare ourselves by creating a beautiful art piece with that in mind. So let's get started boys and girls. The first thing you will need is a piece of paper like this and on that paper I would like you to draw a picture you can snapshot you can take a picture snip it of it or screenshot it you cut it with the scissors so once you've cut it out like this I want you to get a nice uh, card and I'd like you just to um, get some sticky tape and I'm just going to stick it down. Today we're going to do, uh, we're going to use tissue or paper or crepe paper and we're going to use it and see how really pretty when you add water to the paper it can cause bleeding of the different colors and it looks really good. So boys and girls, as you can see in this video, um, the colors are absolutely gorgeous. The way you can see the prints, the different prints of the shapes, and I just love to see it. But unfortunately, because it was so wet, it actually penetrated through the paper. <laughs> so uh, what I have decided to do very quickly boys and girls, is to get um, um, some paints and just dab it around the edges. So I'm going to use this um, and I'm going to add white to it, just paint white onto it and see what happens when I apply it to the edge. So you just add it like that and just move it across. Okay, let's just do it again. So I'm going to add some white as I'm going along. Add white and then you just move across as we're going along. Because we'll keep the geometric shape, the, you know, the the different squares but we'll 
try to show an outline of our dove. And remember, white radiates from the Holy Spirit. Oh, white? Light radiates from the Holy Spirit. So that's why I'm adding the white to just to um, give that... Um, you know, just to give out that look, you know, this look of the, of the light is, is reflecting from, it's coming out from the Holy Spirit. Because, you know, um, the transfiguration is a good example in the Bible when Jesus transfigured on Mount Tabor. Light radiate, his clothes was white like. What, his clothes was white as light so I'm gonna go ahead and just I'm quite happy that I use this shape so that it, we will keep our geometric shape and uh, yeah let's see the outcome of this whether it will show that Holy Spirit um radiating light so we're gonna just continue with that so as I'm doing this video we are making prep preparation this is the first novena recorded um, in, in in the Bible when Jesus said to stay and pray and then I will come I'll send down a f the gift and that gift was the Holy Spirit. And so, boys and girls, yeah, I'm really liking how this is coming out. So I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to add some. I can do that now. Just add, add some colors using this uh, and my paintbrush to the different, just to emphasize the areas, okay? So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get... We had blue, didn't we? We had blue, we had... So I'm just going to go ahead and get some blue. Add to this. And then I'm just going to... So that I can let it go flat. I'm just going to add the... That's really beautiful. And then I'm just going to go ahead and add some more blues here. There was a little blue coming out from here, but I don't want too much blue because there should be light radiating from there. And uh, I think there was a little bit of blue at the top of our... Like that. And uh, yeah, we had some blues throughout this depiction. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that very quickly, boys and girls. Yeah, that's okay. There's another one here. Good. I think that will be it for now. Then we're going to add another color. Just going to add some lovely pink to some of the areas. Not too many areas, but I really want to add that pink, that nice pink. Like that. I want to add some yellow, because it's very white, like luminous yellow. Then I'm just going to add this, just radiating from the top.
just going to continue with this boys and girls and then I'm going to let it dry and then I will see you at the end of the video just to see the outcome if you don't have a palette knife you can use a sponge you can use you can paint on top of um, if you have potatoes you can make a wedge and just add paint to it and, and then use it that way I remember growing up that's what I used to do to make prints so yeah that would be all right to do that you can just experiment boys and girls it's your time to experiment so go ahead you know don't uh, put any boundaries just go ahead and express yourselves all right so I'm gonna let this dry a little bit and um, I'll see you in a minute so boys and girls it's lovely and dried now and you will see that there are some areas that are muddy but this it doesn't matter on the bird because we're going to peel it off but you know there's some muddy areas that you say oh you know I've ruined it no it adds interest boys and girls and that's a sample of abstract art really so when I peel this back it's going to reveal to you um, the outline of a dove. So let's begin by very carefully pulling the, the Holy Spirit, the dove, away to reveal an empty space and yeah it doesn't look too bad it could have been better um, what I'm going to do boys and girls I am definitely going to get uh, white and I'm going to paint in the areas I think that will help it a great deal to stick out the way in which I want it to. So I'm going to go ahead. <coughs> Sorry. I'm going to get my white and I'm going to paint. Let me just use this as a reference so that I am painting it correct. So this goes down and up and around so we're just going to paint it the area white so that we'll be able to identify that area as a dove and I'm going to do the same thing for this I'm going to go down and around and I'm going to add more and more than one layer so that it covers it really thick and you will not be able to see anything. So I'm going to give it another layer of white and I'll get back to you boys and girls there it is boys and girls and I added some white glitter to um, the dove to make it shimmer and radiating light so boys and girls I can't wait to see your Holy Spirit please share with me when you've done and uh, yeah I'll see you in the next video Bye-bye. Also, boys and girls, still not satisfied. I added a very light 
outline of the Holy Spirit and a little yellow glow around it. So you can go ahead and do that if you wish, just to enhance your Holy Spirit. And I can see that it needs another white coat of paint. So uh, yeah, I'll be doing that too, boys and girls. Or it's entirely up to you if you like this effect. I like the glittery effect of it, so I think I'm just going to leave mine like that. So boys and girls, please share with me and I'll see you in the next video. Boys and girls, I decided to add more to this um, painting because uh, when it dried out, it looked a little too bland and there wasn't um you could it wasn't like sticking out enough the dove so therefore i decided to have this uh almost mondrian influence painting at the background with lines and rectangles and uh, yeah i have the dove you know coming down into this collection of colors or kaleidoscope of colors uh, which represents the world so boys and girls i can't wait to see your painting i'm much happier with the outcome so boys and girls please share with me and i'll see you in the next video bye bye